Hello there and welcome to the new Power BI tutorial and in this Power BI tutorial I will going to show you how you can work with the subtotals. So that's the topic that we have and uh, this spreadsheet is present within the description if you are looking to jump or search through the Power BI, Power BI tutorials that I have posted and here you have the link to view it directly as well. So let's see how we can customize total and subtotal. First of all, how you can see the subtotal and then we can customize it. All right, so for that, let's jump into the Power BI. All right, so here we are within the Power BI. And what do we have is the table that I have shown you in one of the previous videos as to how you will going to create the matrix. And based on the product hierarchy that we have, like the product category, product subcategory, product name, how you can enable the drill down. So as you can see, drill down is enabled. And earlier we have seen that we can go to the next level of hierarchy. And over here, as you can see, you don't see the subtotals. What you see is finally the total. So how would you see that? So to enable this, what I'll go is do is first move to the highest level, which is the product category here. And I will jump here which is expand all down one level in the hierarchy. So what it does is along with the main category, it expands to one level down in the hierarchy. So if I just expand this, you will see that main technology is present, which earlier was hidden if we have used this option. And now under technology, the various subcategories are coming their respective value and the total is also present for the technology. So this is a way by which first of all, you will enable using the one level down hierarchy option, you will enable the subtotals and finally the total. And once you have enabled this, you can go inside the formatting and within the format formatting, you have the option of subtotal or the section. Now, right now it is enabled, but you have the option of disabling it. If let's say you just want the heading, but not the subtotal in that case it's quite straightforward you will just disable this and what you have is a pivot table sort of a style where you have the main category and their respective subcategory but if you want to enable it just a, again straightforward option of enabling it what do you want to co call the uh, row subtotals label right now you know what you have is the default total but you can change it whatever you want then down there you have like font color. If you want to change the font color, font family, background color. I mean, if you want to make it something like this one, you will change this so that it is clearly highlighted for you as to what, uh, uh, you know, as a separate label than the normal label that it is subtotal or it is the uh, one level up total present here. And the same setting you can apply to the labels if you enable this. So this will become like more interactive, but again, it will be different for your company as to what color code you may want to choose. This is just for demonstration. I'm showing you where do you want the row subtotal you want at the top or you want at the bottom. So if you have at the bottom, then only the total is coming. So that's the reason this row subtotal value will going to change based on the uh, whatever value you are changing. So right now it has total, whatever you will going to change meaningful from the business perspective will going to come over here and uh, you can update it accordingly. All right. So these are, these are the settings that you can have and uh, per row level is something that you can customize at the per row level. So for example, if I just enable that, nothing will going to happen. But if I disable this, you will see that the grand total is gone for the product category. Similarly, if I just hide this or uncheck this, then a set subtotal at the product category level, you have uh, disabled it. So we can enable and we can get the total and the grand total for this. But again, down there, you have the option of grand total as well as to change their font and uh, settings but nothing related to this total and everything so that's very quickly about uh, how you can manage the subtotals and totals based on the various settings which is present over here to help you give more control over here now i definitely feel that there could have been uh, something better say for example furniture subtotal as one of the requirement or maybe technology subtotal something like that we could have it as more like the expression right so here wrote up sub uh, row subtotal label should be something where you know 
you should have given the flexibility and I think uh, hopefully in the future versions you will be able to get it just so that you are more dynamic when you want to define what the total or the subtotal should look like to your end user. But that's about it and I'll meet you in the next video with a new topic.